Hi everybody, it's Ellen here. Today I'm going to be unboxing all this Lego. That was released on January 1st, so here we go. And in the first box, we have the Monkey Kid, Mechapolis City, which is the five year anniversary of Monkey Kid. I look forward to building this set. And in the second box, all right, we have the Friends Mansion, specifically Andrea's Modern Mansion, the biggest Friends set made. Prove me wrong if it's not. It's a 14 plus set. So, this is the highest age range of the Friends range. But I do like this set. I like that. This one I look forward to building. And on to the next box. What do we have here? Well, a lot more in paper. All right. It's all the little stuff here. Let's have the... Talking about garbage, like the garbage truck. We have the... Have the parrots, which I look... The parrots, which I look for a building and hanging on my wall. And... A... Retro fruit truck, different purchase. My first one, I got more of these on hand, so... Then I have the War Machine Mech Armor and the Mickey Mouse Brickhead, the Cherry Blossoms, the Constructed Steamroller, which is a nice, cool little set, and the Spider-Man vs. Sam and Final Battle, which is going to the Statue of Liberty, which is cool. I can't wait to build this and show you. And in this box, the Emergency Rescue Helicopter. This one, to me, little Marve, it's a lot cooler than the last one. Just on a, it's been, it's just on the trailer. As this one's a lot cooler. I can't wait to build this one. Oh, and then last box, we have this Lego Fortnite card here. A little promo thing. They want to promote this Fortnite, so. Okay, well, let's go to the next box. Yeah, out of the way. We have another retro food truck. Followed by... The Polaroid camera. That's one I can't wait to start building. And the... Family reunion celebration. Which is the Chinese restaurant. This is a nice set. This is exciting. Excited to build this. And on to the next box. What do we have in here? Or the oh, we have the clone troopers back. Well, it's all ever a good thing. I only got one, I'll probably get more in the future, but I'll be happy with one for now. I got another retro food truck, and the Technic John Deere Forge Harvester, and the uh, Okay, roses. This will be great with my botanical collection. Guys, if you're married or dating somebody, this is a good, this is a good to get some get your love on Valentine's Day. Oh, look, he has a card on ready, so perfect. And then the Ninjago Eagle of the Master Dragon. And another promo card to Fortnite. And also little boxes. 
Just more retro food trucks and uh, friends. Probably bag it for purchases because I bought the mansion. As long as the uh, flower garden and the beach cleanup. Yes, I staggered this order out. Because I get as many food trucks as I could get. So this is life. All I got him from Lego. So it's, it's like over two delivery days. It's Sunday ship in the ground. Sunday ship by air. But wait. There's more. Well, like I said, there's more. There's the Dino Fossils. I was lucky to get from Walmart because that one's been back over on the Lego website. And there's always my part world. My part of the world don't have it. And this bag here, no, I didn't buy this stuff from Target. I bought this stuff from Barnes & Noble. Because Barnes & Noble get 10% off all purchases. So this stuff I want to have right away. I want to build a few of them for review. So, and of course, save money on products. So because like, I'm buying all this stuff, I'm reviewing this stuff. I'm an independent reviewer, so I'm not sponsored by Lego yet. But all my goals is to... Be on a Lego Master Network so I can get some stuff for free and review the stuff. That's one. That's my goal. So let's unbag the stuff here and see what we have. First up is a police mobile crime lab truck. Looking at it, it's a cool design. Looks like they're going with the uh, navy blue and white. Where is the regular blue and white? I'll build a new event. Mike said, I find to use a regular blue to close out with the current police colors. Next up. Friends. Hot dog food truck. Yes, it's a 4 plus set, but I'm in a culinary field, so food is my thing. So I'm going to buy it because it's food. I gotta have food. Next up is a Lego space and just interstellar spaceship. And next up is the creator space astronaut from the space sub theme. And I have the X Men. X Jet. I know this is extremely pricey, but I'm here like your advice about this one, so I'm gonna build this and review it. Also, gotta be like burns all ten percent off, so I said a little bit of money on it. And then we have another city space sub theme set, space explorer rover and alien life. I went bought this because I wanted to mug up the stamps because. If you're a, if you have membership Barnes and Noble, you get 10% off the purchase and you start getting stamps. Once every ten dollars you spend, spend hundred dollars, you get a five dollar coupon. So all this I managed to get a, a lot of coupons, which I put towards a good purchase. And then we have the Marvel Marvel Rockin' and Baby Groot. So I look forward to building this one. Then the Technic Bulldozer. It's a small set. It's good value. And it helps get the kids in the Technic. And the uh, Rocket Warbird versus Ronin ship. And last in the bag, the Monster truck. Again, I got this just so I can buck up my stamps. And part of my January first haul was this race car transporting truck. This is in my city and I modified it to where there's a passenger and a driver in the same spot. And also a short, I just put jumpers aside, put the side panels on here. Move the steering wheel and, and the dashboard over so that two people can fit in the truck. And a couple of pieces so they can fit in comfortably and still legal build. 
Because it was dumb to have one guy driving and obviously the race car driver doing something else. I'm on both in here, so everything's in one place. And this little lot here that bought for our guards on January 1st. Because I got to my local shop on January 1st. They had nothing on the shelf, though they had a line saying it was on the shelf. I was almost disappointed. I was almost disappointed completely. I almost let the meltdown because it showed itself on the shelf, but luckily I was able to get a handful of stuff on January 1st. Well, I got was burning nothing. So I got the rest of the stuff in Barnes Noble on January 2nd. When I played on, on their app for some of the stuff, I went in, found stuff on the shelf that I wanted to get, so I felt that was time to get it while I was there. So, in conclusion, this is all the Lego from the January 1st releases. I can't start building it all, reviewing it all, explaining them all with pride. So, anyway. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Appreciate it. And have a good day.